Captain's log, day 10. Day 10? This is day 23. This is day 10 of the way back. It's been 10 days going back. 10 days. 10 days. I'm recording you taking a picture of me. You're recording me taking a picture of you. Good morning, and the time is 7.13. Okay. Denny's. No. No. Steak and shake. Go right back to that little place. Steak and shake. Look around where Come on, we have all this time on our hands. Let's eat funny little trinkets at the Dollar General. Where's that? They have Bates Commodities. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Bates Commodities. Please. So we're going, I think, to Ohio today. Maybe Indiana. I don't know. Illinois? We'll see. Woody Woodpecker. Woody's family. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> We're in Indiana. Oh, I didn't say it before, but that meal that we had at um, Woody's was delicious. It was just, just big enough, not too big. It was tasty. Not too sweet, it was just it was perfect. So we just stopped off at a rest area here in Indiana and uh, I'm heading back to the car and that's that. Here's Tom. Oh no. Oh. Did you know that with those Excel hand dryers, if you put your hands together in just the right way it makes a farting sound? <laughs> This is the road there. Huh? Okay, this is the road there. Yes. Okay, we're on the road to Ohio. Did you take it to So we never really talked about on you know, the videos um, the garlic press. Do you think we should do that? What videos? On the road trip videos. Tell the people about the garlic press. Yeah. What do you want to tell them? I don't know where it is, what they have, what we thought of it. Sure. Did you take video in there? Huh? No, I didn't. I didn't bring my camera. It was in Iowa, though, right? It was like a college town. No. The garlic press. Garlic press. That was last night. Last night. Where was it? Illinois. Illinois. It's Gar not. Illinois. It's in Illinois. Gar garlic press in Illinois. Normal. Normal? Normal Illinois. Normal Illinois is where it is. And they had really cool stuff in there. They had all this. They had like little fridge magnets. They had um, coffee cups and mugs. They had these little magnetic bead things, you know, like these tiny little ball magnets that kind of came together into cubes. You could do all this different stuff with them. And there were two of them lumped together, a pink one and a silver one, and I spent like most of the time in there un unwinding them and then putting them each in their own pile. And I eventually got it done. And then I... Yeah, and then I made a little shield hexagon thing. And then I made the other one a hexagon as well. And um, there was a little poseable guy that was all made of like... Um, what were those? It's like just these little iron kind of iron thingamajigs. It's like paper clips, but like just long wire. It was like wiring. He was a wireframe man, and that was very cool, and you could pose him and stuff. And uh, they also had a very nice selection of mustache related merchandise, which I appreciated personally. And uh, the lady there was very nice. Mom, mom liked her. Um, they talked for a while, and I talked with her a little bit while I was playing with the magnets. And uh, it was really cool. They had a lot of kitchen supplies, little fancy trinkets, stuff like that. And then on the other side, they had um, a lot of great reading 
They had a lot of great greeting cards. They had bakery and pottery and dishes. They had pots and pans. They had t-shirts. It was actually connected to a restaurant where they had kind of this art display on the walls and that was very cool too. They had green, great greeting cards. They also had pickles. pickles. A lot of pickle-based merchandise and as well. great quiche with goat cheese and pesto mm -hmm. and salad. I got an artichoke tuna salad sandwich. Brisket with horseradish. It was great. It was a very good place. If you want to eat somewhere in Illinois, in normal Illinois. And Tom, and Tom was got able a button. to um, have a gift of a button that says, I may be old, but I got to see all the cool bands, and he has seen, how many bands did you count? Hundreds of bands in Santa Barbara and all over Philadelphia. He has seen so much music in his lifetime. It's amazing. Thank you. So, He's old. so that was the garlic <laughs> press. You should check it out if you live near normal Illinois, or if you ever go there, you should check out the Garlic Press. They have some cool stuff there. Okay. I guess that, that'll fill up a little bit of this day, because a lot of the past few days have just been driving. So, driving. Okay. It's round on each side and high in the middle. Ohio! Ohio. <laughs> those trucks over here look like they're transporting just those giant wind turbine fans, like the blades of the windmill things. The propellers. It's crazy. Those were huge. They're the size of. They were even bigger than freight trucks. Holy moly. Okay, we can add another thing onto the world's largest things that we've seen. This is the world's largest basket. Long a burger. Holy crap. The whole building is just a big woven basket. That's... It's pretty intense. Okay. Okay, we're pulling that out. We're going in. We're going into the giant basket. We are inside of the giant basket. God, I feel like a giant hand is going to reach in and pull some of us out. In Pennsylvania yet? We're in West Virginia. Right? We're in West Virginia. Ah! Look at the sign. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful West Virginia. It's wild. It's wild how wonderful it is. Ah! Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania welcomes your state of independence. Oh no! Some bizarre shopping ritual, I imagine. <laughs> Three ton limit, no trucks. <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode. We are staying at the, um, I forget, what does the card say? The Spring Hill Suites. And we haven't eaten dinner yet, so we're going to go do that soon. But turns out we're on the first floor. It's the first time this has happened the whole trip. We are on floor number one. Just walked in, went down the hallway, no elevators involved. So anyways, how about we check out the shower? It's kind of in between. 
the shower the shower looks like it has different nozzles and it's bigger than the one the uh stony creek in but it's not the same <laughs> the spring hill stone spring you don't have to sleep on a couch you can watch tv from a sweet spring hill sweets and uh yeah so we're gonna go eat dinner now and that'll be the end of the day so Challenge accepted. <laughs> Show that picture. The mighty crab lays fallen. A delicious meal was had. <laughs> you did a great job of eating all of those crab legs at the, the Reb Lobster. There's something natural about eating crab that I just love. Something ferocious and primal. The feeling of staring into right. his shell to all eat right. the fresh meat <laughs> dipped in butter. The flesh of the crab. <laughs> okay, good night everybody.